Hello everybody, happy Friday. I hope you're all okay. We're back doing home learning and so today I'm going to be doing maths with you. As you can see, my tree is up now, so we are getting ready for Christmas. It's getting very close. Right then, today in maths, we are going to be thinking about the number 10. But the first thing that I need you to help me with is my maths has all got a bit muddled. I've got lots of numbers and lots of different ways of showing those numbers, but they're all in the wrong places. And I wonder if you can help me to put them back in the right places. Okay, let's have a go. So on here, I have got lots of different numbers. I wonder if you can help me to figure out what the numbers are. So let's practice recognizing them. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But all these different representations, the ways of showing the numbers are all in the wrong places. We've got to figure out which one goes where. So let's start up here. This one is a picture of a dice. Let's count how many is on this dice. What number is it showing? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So what number is this? Number six, we've got to find number six again. Oh no, I've forgotten. Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five, six. There it is. So I'm gonna move our dice number six over here. Now, whilst we're over here, what number is this? This is a Numicon number. It's number, absolutely, it's number one. So we can just switch that straight there. So we've got our number one and we've got our number six. Okay, let's move on. What number is this gonna be? This, we've got to count the numbers on, the fingers on this one to figure out what number it is. Can you help me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine fingers, okay, we've got to now figure out which one is number nine. Can you spot number nine anywhere? There it is down there, so we're gonna switch this one down here. Okay, let's have a look at this one, see if we can figure out what this one is. Again, it's fingers, so let's count them, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, so it doesn't belong here with number nine. Where is number seven? Remember, seven is one more than six, so we know that six is here. Six, seven, there it is. Wonderful, so we can move number nine there and number seven there. Okay, let's have a go at this one. Now this is a number block. I bet you know who this is. Which number block is this? It's number block number four. So let's switch that to number four. Can you spot number four for me? One, two, three. There's number four. Let's pop him down there. Okay, let's move number seven over. Right, well, that means that this can't be number four. Who is this? That's right, it's number two. So where's number two? There it is, number two. Let's pop that one there. There we go. Right, so we've sorted out quite a lot of them now, but I'm just gonna make them a little bit smaller. We've still got some that aren't right yet, haven't we? Let's have a look at this one. Is this one number three? How many dots have we got? One, two, three, four, five. No, it's not number three. So where does it need to go? It needs to go to number five. Where is number five? One, two, three, four, five. There it is. Okay, let's switch this one down to number five. So this one can't be number five. What number is this one? Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it's number eight. Where's number eight? Can we put it in the right place? There's number eight, well done. Let's pop that one over there. Put our number five there. So let's check so far which ones we've got right. We've got number one, we've got number two. We're still missing number three. Can you spot number three anywhere? Here it is, well done. Our dice has got one, two, three dots on. Our dice is showing number three. Okay, let's move number block down. Okay, so we now need to check, have we got them all in the right place? Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine. We've done it. Well done, everybody. Give yourselves a big thumbs up because we have managed it. Well done. Okay, right then. Now we've managed to sort out one to nine. We've got to do the next number. So what is one more than nine? Eight, nine, ten. Absolutely, we're going to look at number ten today. And this is number 10. You'll probably recognise our number block number 10. And we've got our numicon number 10. Now, one way that we can count to see if it's number 10 is by counting all the circles, isn't it? Let's try that to double check that I've got the right one. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wonderful. We've got 10. We know it's right. Now I'm going to show you a trick. There's another way to count this. It's a little bit quicker. I'm going to count them in twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So we know we've got our number ten. Now we're going to have a look at how we can figure out what number ten is all about. So here I have got lots of counters and I've got a tens frame. Now, a tens frame is a frame that's got 10 boxes in it. So we know if we want to count out 10 counters and there's 10 boxes, what do we know? Well, we know that if we've got 10 counters and 10 boxes, all the boxes are going to have a counter in because we know if the whole tens frame is full, that must be 10 counters. But let's check. Let's check that this 10 frame has 10 boxes. You ready to help me count, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So we know it's definitely a 10 frame with 10 squares in it. We've used five frames before at school and you're brilliant at it. So I wonder if we can have a go at the 10 frame. Right, so I've got lots of counters here. We've got to put 10 counters onto our tens frame. You're going to help me, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Got to keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. Do I keep going? No, we don't keep going because can you see our tens frame is full and we've got 10 counters. Let's double check that we're right. Ready? Help me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We do. We've got 10 counters in our tens frame. Well done, everybody. Okay, let's look at another one. Okay, now this time I've got lots of cubes. They're supposed to look a little bit like the cubes we got at school that you can put on top of each other. And we're going to try and make a tower of 10 cubes. Can you help me, ready? We're going to move them. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we're going to go over the writing. 10. We've got 10 cubes. So this is another way of showing 10. We had our 10 counters in our tens frame and now we've got our 10 cubes. I wonder if we can show 10 another way as well. Now for this one, we're going to have a go at writing a tally. Now, some of you have been doing our number nine number hunt and you've been drawing nine things to find when you found the number nine. Well, this week, we're having a go at 10. So I'm going to show you how we draw 10 as a tally. That's when we draw the lines. So we're going to draw 10 lines. We've got one, two, three, four. Now, on number five, we need to close the gate because they come in fives. So we've got four lines. Number five, we're going to close the gate. So we've got one, two, three three, four, five. We need to keep going, don't we? Because we need 10. Six, seven, eight, nine. Now, what do we need to do? We've got to 
close the gate. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got ten written as a tally. I wonder if you can have a go at that. Have a go at pausing the video, grab a pencil and a piece of paper or a whiteboard and a pen and have a go at writing ten as a tally. Okay, have you had a go? Brilliant, well done. So next, we're going to have a go at writing the number 10. Now, do you remember before we had a look at how we form our numbers really beautifully? So here we've got a one and a zero because that's how, what, how we draw the number 10. So we're going to have a go at drawing the number 10. So we're going to start with our one for our 10. It says start at the top and down we run. That's the way we make a one. Mine's a bit wonky, oops. So we've got a one. Now our 10 also needs a zero, doesn't it? So we're gonna go around and round and round we go. When we get home, we have a zero. Well, we've made a zero, but we've also made a 10. It's a little bit squiggly, but that's okay on here. I wonder if you can now have a go underneath your tally at trying to write the number 10. Pause the video here and have a go for me. Well done. Okay, so we've been exploring the number 10 today. And what I'd like you to do now is to have a go at the worksheet that I put onto the website. Now today it's all about counting objects and seeing how many objects you can find and it includes number 10. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. So if you go onto our website and go onto the I spy, it will look like this. And it's a sheet that's got lots of different Christmassy things on it. We've got a reindeer, an elf, a stocking. We've got presents, gingerbread men, a tree, baubles and candy canes. Lots and lots of different things. Oh, we've also got some angels. And what you need to do is have a look. And there's another sheet as well. And this other sheet looks like this. And it says, count the number of each type of Christmas item and write the numeral in the box. So you need to look for each picture and count how many of each one there are in this picture and write the number in the box. So, for example, the Christmas tree. Let's count how many Christmas trees we can see. We can see one, uh, two. Can I see any more? No, I can just see two. So in this box, I would write the number two. I wonder if you can have a go at that and then send us some pictures of you having a go. Now, if you want to work really, really, really hard, I've also popped on there the same thing, but it goes up to 20. Now that's really tricky because we haven't even done the numbers up to 20, but if you want to really challenge your brain, have a go at that one as well. Well done today, you've worked really hard. Have a really lovely weekend and we will see you on Monday. Bye-bye.